So this video is going to look at amines. It should be a relatively small video because the amines are involved in a very small number of reactions. So amines are organic molecules based upon ammonia. And they are ammonia molecules where one of the hydrogen atoms has been replaced with a carbon-based chain known as an alkyl chain. And you can get primary, secondary, or tertiary amines. Now this, these primary, secondary, and tertiary mean slightly different things than when we have um, the terminology used for alcohols. A primary amine means that there is one carbon chain coming off the nitrogen. A secondary amine means that there are two carbon chains coming off the central nitrogen. And a tertiary amine means that there are three carbon chains coming off the tertiary, uh, coming off the nitrogen in the centre. Now when it comes to naming amines, what we do is essentially we just look at each chain or branch coming off the nitrogen and give each branch a name. We put those names of the branches in alphabetical order and then we finish their, our chemical with the word amine. So for the molecule on the left, we have got a methyl group at the top um, of that molecule. So we have got our methyl group. Here we have got our ethyl group. And at the side here, we have got our propyl group. Now we need to put them in alphabetical order. So ethyl will come first, then methyl, then propyl. So it ends up being ethyl, methyl, propyl, amine. Now in the molecule on the right, we have got two methyl groups and one ethyl group. So ethyl is going to come first and then methyl will come second. And there's two of them, so we're going to use di for that. So that amine is ethyl dimethyl amine. And a lot of amines will have the same group um, coming off the nitrogen. So you can have something as big as um, like you, uh, something, um, something like trimethylamine. It just means it's got three CH3 groups coming off of it. Now when it comes to amines, amines um, have slightly different properties depending on whether they are primary, secondary or tertiary. So primary and secondary amines still contain nitrogen-hydrogen bonds. That means they are capable of forming hydrogen bonds, which are the strongest intermolecular forces, which causes primary and secondary amines to have higher melting and boiling points than tertiary amines, which do not have any NH bonds, therefore cannot form hydrogen bonds, but are just um, polar. All small amines, even tertiary ones, can dissolve in water, as water will be able to form hydrogen bonds with the central nitrogen atom. So if we look at this, um, these are both tertiary amines, they are both trimethyl amine, and the nitrogen is delta negative, the carbons will be delta positive, and the uh, water molecules, the delta positive hydrogens, will interact with the delta negative nitrogens, allowing the small molecules to dissolve. However, the bigger and longer those carbon chains become, the more overall nonpolar the molecules become and the less soluble amines will be in water. Now, amines are weak bases and they will react with acids. Um, so they react with hydrochloric, nitric and sulfuric acid to form what are known as alkyl ammonium salts. Now, all you need to know is that when an amine forms a salt, you change the word amine to ammonium and then whatever acid was used, you use the name of the salt that gets made from that acid. So nitric acid will form uh, something ammonium nitrate, hydrochloric acid will form a something ammonium chloride, Sulfuric acid will form a something ammonium sulfate. So we've got two examples here. Trimethylamine plus nitric acid. Well, trimethyl 
is going to stay, but it goes from amine to ammonium, and it's nitric acid, so it's going to be nitrate. Ethyl amine, well, ethyl is going to stay the same, amine changes to ammonium, ethyl ammonium, and then we have chloride from hydrochloric acid. There are no secondary products. You do not make water, you do not make any gases. When you react an amine with an acid, you just get the alkyl ammonium salt. The final thing we need to know that amines are used for is they can be used for making amides. Now this um, mechanism, this process, you may have looked at on the carboxylic acids video. If you remember that well, this is just a recap of that. But amines, when they react with carboxylic acids, the first thing they form are alkyl ammonium salts, which are then heated to make that amide bond. And that amide bond is the C double bond O, followed by a bond to an NH group. And we call it an amide bond in chemistry. We call it a peptide bond in biology and a peptide bond or link if it's in a protein. <coughs> so this has been our um, video on amines and the reaction.